Good morning, everyone. My name is Nicolas Orlambidis, and today I'm going to present to you a novel piecewise chaotic map for image encryption. First, we're going to start with an introduction, and then I'm going to show you the proposed chaotic map, which we use in order to create a pseudo random bit generator, and then how these two we use them in order to create encryption and decryption processes. Last, we're going to leave you with some conclusions and future extensions. So what is chaos? For example, in physics and mathematics, by chaos and chaotic systems, we refer to deterministic systems that showcase extreme sensitivity to initial conditions and parameter value changes. What this means? This means that if I was to compute the solutions of a system with almost identical initial conditions, these solutions will diverge from each other in a very short period of time. To illustrate this, let's consider a very simple mechanical example of uh, three inverted pendulums that start from almost the same initial conditions. And thus you will be able to see after the two, three seconds later, the orbits of uh, the pendulums start to diverge significantly from each other. There are two major areas for chaotic systems. The first is chaos emergence in chaos, in nature, sorry. Engineering, meteorology, biology, astronomy, and basically we meet chaos in almost all physical phenomena. The second is chaos application. We've seen chaos being utilized in robotics, weather forecast, pandemic crisis management, circuits, information security. In particular, in the discipline of information security, there are many advancements in the field of chaos-based cryptography with ubiquitous applicability. For example, in random bit generators, watermarking, hazing, secure communications. The determinism, the dubious behavior, and the low computational cost provide an exceptional foundation for implementing a plethora of encryption schemes, particularly chaotic maps of low dimensions that display regions of constant chaos. So motivated by this, we designed a new piecewise chaotic map based on the Z-shaped fuzzy number. To do that, let's first consider the Z-shaped fuzzy number, which is given by this equation. And here below, you can see examples of the Z-shaped fuzzy number and how this function behaves. Essentially, as you can see, the A parameter is the parameter that shows the beginning of the slope, and the B parameter indicates the end of the slope. To invest, <clears throat> then we're going to uh, introduce to you <clears throat> the system. The first thing we do is we let A to be equal to zero, and then we introduce the HX and KX functions, which we use in order to modify the Z-shaped fuzzy number and obtain the F1 function and the F2 function, which finally we use in order to construct our piecewise chaotic map in equation six, where the parameters eta, z, and b are positive real numbers and are used to control the behavior of the system. To investigate the system's dynamical behavior, we plotted the bifurcation and their corresponding Lyapunov exponent diagrams. Here, in the first row, you see the bifurcation diagram with respect to Z and uh, with respect to eta. And below, you see their corresponding Lyapunov exponent diagrams. As you can see from the bifurcation diagrams, it's immediate that constant chaos arise. And this is being validated by the corresponding Lyapunov exponent diagrams. And in fact, what we can see is that uh, uh, the Lyapunov exponent diagrams indicate that we have large Lyapunov exponent values, something uh, which we desire in order to move forward with an encryption and decryption process. Now, we're going to uh, introduce to you the pseudo-random bit generator. Consider an X and V sequences with initial conditions X0, V0, 
and they have length m. Also, these triplets are their respective parameters. Then the random bit generator is based on this following form on the left. And in order to assess the randomness of the suggest this suggested uh, technique, a set of 100 million bits was generated and tested using the NIST, NIST uh, tests. And uh, as you can see here on the table on the right, the generator passes all the tests and uh, can thus be used for encryption related schemes. The encryption consists of three parts. In the first part, we consider an n times n image A, which is uh, the paper image. And uh, by using the proposed chaotic map, as you can see here and here, and uh, note that HA, as you can see here on uh, the definition of the initial conditions, HA is uh, the entropy of uh, the original image. So uh, we use uh, these two chaotic maps in order to obtain uh, a shuffling matrix L and the shuffling matrix R, which uh, the L is corresponds to the rows. So it basically it shuffles the rows of the image and uh, the matrix R shuffles the columns of the image. So how we do this, we, we do it by pre-multiplying L with A and post-multiplying that with R to obtain the shuffled image A bar. And you can see it here. Next, in order to move forward uh, to the second step, the first thing we do is we partition A bar into uh, C Ni times Mi block matrices, A bar I, which we take this A bar I and we convert them to vectors VI. In order to shuffle each of these vectors VI, for example, let's take V1, we take the chaotic map with uh, this initial condition and uh, control parameters, and uh, we construct a vector SI, which uh, S1, basically, which uh, gives the permutation of order of the vector V1. Once we shuffle, the vector V1 and we obtain P1, then we update the initial condition through this rule and we move, do the same thing for the V2 vector, V3, etc., until no unshuffled vectors VI remain. Once we finish with that, we reshape each PI to NI times MI matrices A tilde I. And uh, from that, we put uh, each uh, matrix one next to the other, and uh, we obtain the shuffled image A, A tilde, as you can see it here. In the third and last step, we transform A tilde to binary and we reshape it to vector B tilde. And we take this B tilde uh, uh, binary vector and we combine it with the chaotic bit sequence B, which we obtain from uh, the PRPG. And we combine these two through an XOR process to obtain finally the encrypted image C. Then this image, uh, we can uh, send it to the receiver with along with uh, the encryption keys. So he can uh, decrypt it uh, and obtain the original uh, paper image uh, by doing the inverse process. So, we analyzed the, the pepper bell, which is a 512 times 512 image with these control parameters. And uh, as you can see from uh, the histogram analysis, the encrypted image uh, in comparison to the original image uh, exhibits uniformity. The, co uh, the correlation coefficient for neighboring characters in an encrypted image, it should be uh, very close to zero. So basically meaning that uh, the, the characters are uncorrelated. That, and as you can see here in uh, the correlation coefficient in the encrypted uh, <coughs> image is uh, very close to zero. 
The, the, entro the signals global uh, information entropy is a measure of its uh, randomness and unpredictability. And uh, in uh, this scenario, it should be at most eight. And uh, as you can see here, uh, again, the encrypted uh, image, uh, the entropy is very close to eight. Uh, while in uh, the first three, the original first permutation and second permutation, uh, the <clears throat> entropy is the same. And that is because no encryption is taking place. In the differential attack analysis, we try to determine the level <clears throat> of change between nearly identical images. To do that, we compute the number of pixels change rate and uh, the unified average changing intensity, NPCR and UACI. Uh, with optimum values uh, to be 99.61 and 33.46, we compute 99.62 and 33.24, which basically means that the encrypted image performs well on both of these measures. Finally, we computed uh, the upper bound uh, for the key space to be two to the power of 1,120, which is already greater than the minimum requirement uh, for a key space, which is uh, two to the power of 100, uh, that uh, we consider uh, uh, safe for uh, an encryption. Also, because the crypto system is chaos-based, sensitivity is ensured. To the conclusions, uh, a new one-dimensional chaotic map was introduced, and it was showcased that this map exhibits large regions of constant chaos and high values of Lyapunov exponents. Based on this map, a pseudo-random bit generator was proposed, which was tested and passed all the NIST tests. An image encryption system was created, and the system is built around a shuffling process that is derived from the proposed chaotic map, and this is followed by the use of the PRPG and the next or operation, which results in the encrypted image. Finally, a variety of tests and measures were used to demonstrate that the resulting encrypted uh, image was random and secure. Now, the future extensions will uh, include full analysis on the proposed map with Lyapunov exponent diagrams with respect to two parameters and phase diagrams. We're going to robustify and generalize this encryption scheme in the partitioning in step one and the dimensions of each block will be chosen through a chaotic process. Furthermore, because small differences in precision may occur, in which case a complete collapse of the decryption process is possible, a precision analysis of the proposed system and possible ways to counter for such kind of scenarios will be included. Comparison of the proposed method with other chaotic image encryption methods regarding the processing speed will also be included. And lastly, with the advancement of multimedia applications, the use of 3D objects is becoming increasingly popular and its security has become an immediate issue. As such, Extensions to this work will also tend to contribute in this direction. Thank you.